Hello and greetings from my clinic. In this episode, I will be taking you through dry eye and computer vision syndrome. Dry eye is probably the most common disorder today in ophthalmology and a number of drops are available for replacing tears in the eye. Tear replacement drops are probably the most sold eye treatment product in ophthalmology today. Why does one get dry eye? Tears are continuously secreted in the eye and it coats the surface of the eye. This coating is what keeps the eye moist and this moisture is necessary to have clear vision. And that is why we blink at least 6 to 8 times a minute. When we blink, the tear is spread all over the front of the eye on the cornea. The vision is normal. When we don't blink enough or we keep the eye continuously open, the tear can evaporate fast and this can cause a dry eye. What we call as dry eye is usually a condition where the tear secretion is near normal. The tear, amount of tear that is produced by the tear glands is not very much reduced. But the chemical composition of the tears and the blink pattern varies, causing the tear film to dry up in between blinks. So one has a lot of problems here. Why is this common in computer usage? There's a common misconception that the computer screen or the laptop screen or the cell phone screen is emitting some kind of rays and these rays are causing the eye to dry up. This is very, very wrong and very far from the truth. A lot of investigation and research has gone into seeing whether there are any harmful radiations coming off from screens. No, there are no radiations coming off from screens. It is a fact that whenever we do anything with interest, we blink less. Now that can be watching a movie, looking at the computer screen, looking at your laptop, looking at your cell phone, or even reading a book. But always the problem is noticed when one uses electronic media and not when reading a book. It is very simple. When we read a book, we'll, the book is on the table and we look down and we read. This is the posture. This is the posture that nature intended you to look at near. When you do this, the eye, eye is two-thirds closed. So even if you don't blink enough, eye does not become dry. vis a when somebody is working on the computer, you're looking at the computer screen, you're looking up straight. And one looks straight, laptop or the screen, and then we are working on it, eye is fully open. And all the time when you work on a computer, we always run air-conditioned atmosphere, where the humidity is very low. So blink comes down, the blink, is, blink rate is low, and the eye starts to dry up. And we start to blame the computer screen for that. No, that is absolutely wrong. Here, what can we do? One, we need to bring back the chemical composition of your tears to near normal. Certain drugs like omega-3 fatty acids improve the composition of the tears and prevents it from drying up faster. The other fact is, in everybody's lid, in each lid, there are 30 glands. Both 30 in the upper lid, 30 in the lower lid. These glands are known as meibomian glands. They secrete a secretion which is oily, which coats the tear film and prevents it from drying up. Unfortunately, in a lot of people, because the blink pattern is altered, blink pattern is what stimulates these glands. The glands are not stimulated, the secretion becomes thicker, it gets blocked and the whole glands start to degenerate or die out. So one, they produce less amounts of meibomian secretion, they produce secretions that are not of good chemical composition. Three, the glands get blocked and they start to die out. All of this put together starts to make the dry eye worse. What happens when somebody has dry eye? They have red eye, they have irritation and paradoxically they have watering because when the eye becomes dry, it becomes red, it gets irritated. Irritation causes a reflex watering which is sometimes excessive. So they will have episodes of dryness, irritation, discomfort followed by episodes of extreme watering. So this goes on and on and when, though this cannot cause any permanent visual problem or a permanent damage to the eye, this becomes a nuisance that the person lives with, finds it difficult to work on the computer, affects a person's productivity, affects a person's activities and their ability to work and produce the work that is necessary. What is happening now? We tend to use lubricating drops. Yes, lubricating drops can work but they are only replacing the tear. And using the lubricating drops very frequently also is not good because it washes out what little natural tears are there. One can use lubricating drops once in three or four hours and help the eye or prevent the eye from becoming too dry. But that is not addressing the causative factor. The causative factor is one, we need to make sure that our posture is such that 
we at least look down a little on the computer screen, not look straight up. So keep the computer screen as low as possible. So your eye is at least one third closed. Two, every 20 minutes, take a break, look at distance and blink a few times so that the tear secretion is spread out well over the surface of the eye. Let's just do it for about 15-20 seconds. One need not take a big break. This will help. Three, take the proper kind of food, natural foods or supplements with vitamins and omega-3 fatty acids which will help you to replenish or make your tears better. Three, it is a good habit that one does hot fermentation. Use hot water, fermentation of the lid and massage the lids. Spread to the time taken should be at least two to four minutes for each eye and this can help indirectly. But all of this is not going to be enough in a person who has got mavobian gland dysfunction. Surprisingly, Today we see persons the age of 20 and 30 having very severe mevoban gland dysfunction. So we need to look at the mevography, that's the mevoban gland, scan them, look at them and see how much they are damaged. And if they are damaged, then we have a treatment known as Lipiflow, which is actually does a massaging of these glands, opens them up and brings out the thick secretion out and replaces the, lets the gland replace it with normal secretions. And prevents these glands from dying out permanently. This is the only treatment that is available for dry eye today in the world and it can be accessed at Uma Eye Clinic for anybody who has got dry eye issues. There's a popular misconception that there are rays coming off from the digital screens and these rays have to be cut to give good health for the eye. Nothing is further from the truth. Number one, there are no rays coming off from any digital screen. It has been proven over many years of research and study. The other point that the blue rays should be cut and one should use the so-called blue cut lenses to give good health to the eye is absolutely unscientific. There is no need to cut any blue light. All standard lenses available all over the world including India, spectacle lenses have ultraviolet light, UV light filter put in. It is legally necessary and it is present in all lenses that are sold worldwide. Ultraviolet light can be harmful to the eye. Ultraviolet light in large amounts is present only in sunlight. In small amounts, it can be present in tube lights, fluorescent lights, CFL lamps and LED lamps. This has to be cut out. The UV light protection is necessary. So-called blue cut or cutting out the blue range of the visual spectrum has got no scientific basis and has got no meaning whatsoever. Trying to use these kind of lenses, particularly in those who don't need to wear glasses at all, is actually counterproductive and has got no scientific validity.